I hope everybody's been doing great, and welcome back to another episode of Nano News. I'm going to go ahead and start this episode off with a couple of pictures that I think you'll find pretty interesting. Have you ever wanted to know what your tank would look like from the point of view of your fish? Well, this LEGO underwater vehicle could help you do just that. But I doubt the thing is reef safe. I was recently looking for a new place to order fish and corals, and I stumbled across the YouTube page for Vivid Aquariums. One of their videos really stood out to me. It's on the controversial subject of the propagation of anemones, and in the video he actually successfully frags an anemone. I'll try to condense the video for the sake of time, but you've got to check this out. I'm Dave, and today we're going to frag a magnificent sea anemone for the first time. Now we've fragged bubble tip anemones many times in the past with great success, but we've never successfully even tried or fragged a magnificent sea anemone. So the first step what we want to do is to slowly cut from the top of the anemone down through the mouth so that each, you see it suck in there, each half of the anemone is going to have half of the mouth as well as half a foot. Just take our time, we cut nice and slowly. Want to be careful. We only have one of these beauties. You'll notice the uh, anemone definitely shrunk up a little bit, reacted when we started cutting. We're using a very sharp X-Acto knife. And luckily, this anemone anchored itself on the glass of the aquarium, which gives us a nice surface to cut against to make a smooth, clean cut. Now you can see we've separated the anemone into two halves, each with half a mouth and half a foot. We realize that many of hobbyists out there may be interested in acquiring this, but uh, definitely will be a time, probably at least six months to a year before we're able to sell any offspring because we're gonna continue to propagate it and wait till we have a number of successful mothers uh, before we do start selling them. Well, it's been two weeks since we fragged our magnificent sea anemone into two, and now we have two beautiful, magnificent sea anemones, both of which are doing very well. They haven't moved much from their favorite spot. In fact, they anchored still next to each other, but they are not trying to grow back together, and they're definitely now two separate anemones, uh, doing very well. Even took a bit of uh, silver side earlier in the day today, and uh, so we're very excited about this and uh, we, we hope to continue to propagate this anemone for many, many years to come. Our plan is to cut it ideally once every couple of months and hopefully within another six to eight months we'll be able to finally offer a few specimens to our customers. But now we know with the right conditions uh, it is possible to propagate a magnificent sea anemone. Be sure to check out Vivid Aquarium's YouTube page for more awesome videos. If you're running out of room or have limited space in your sump, then you definitely need to check out Cadlight's new pipeless skimmer. This newly designed skimmer is ideal for aquariums that are 40 to 80 gallons. The coolest thing about this skimmer is that you can simply twist the body to adjust the water level. If you don't believe me, check out this video. The unique way to adjust this protein skimmer is by going either clockwise or counterclockwise. And you can watch the skimmate adjust and rise. So no need for piping by turning the knob clockwise or counterclockwise. You should really consider adding the skimmer to your tank if you're short on sump space. This isn't really related to Nana Reefs, but I thought you'd find it pretty interesting. How would you like to catch this off your back porch? Oh, he's got no line. 
that wheel right. Oh! 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 A shot! A shot! That was pretty crazy. If you're looking to set up an affordable all-in-one tank for your office or home, then Aquion definitely has the tank for you. These little acrylic aquariums called the Aquion Evolve are available in 2, 4, and 8 gallons. The setup includes an LED light that has daylight and moonlight options, a filter cartridge, a cover for the back chambers, and a quiet flow pump. These tanks can be found at Amazon.com and range in prices from $50 to $90. With its sleek look and low price, one of these tanks would make a great addition to your desktop. I don't think I've ever been too excited about heaters, but Cobalt Aquatic's new Neotherm heater definitely caught my attention. This innovative heater is fully submersible, accurate up to half a degree, and its slim design is completely shatterproof. The heater comes in a variety of sizes that are available online for around $60. Here's Cobalt Aquatic's video on the new heater. Hi, this is Randy with Cobalt Aquatics, introducing the new Neotherm electronic heater. Drop it into its holster, snap it into place, plug it in. The thermostat will sense your tank aquarium water temperature, allow you to then dial in the temperature of your choice. It will reset and begin heating. It will continue heating until it locks it in at your set temperature and will hold within a half a degree. Fully submersible and very durable. Check us out at CobaltAquatics.com or our Facebook page at Cobalt Aquatics for more information on all of our aquarium and pond products. If you're in the market for a new heater, then I would definitely check them out. Ever wondered what a 13,000 gallon aquarium would look like if it sprung a leak? We'll see for yourself. This video is definitely every hobbyist's worst nightmare. Here's another skimmer that you should be on the lookout for. It's Innovative Marine's new skimmer aptly named Skimmate. If you have an all-in-one tank, then this skimmer will be perfect for you. It comes in two sizes, a desktop version rated up to 25 gallons and a mid-size version rated up to 65 gallons. The desktop version is made especially for the Nuvo 16, but should fit in most bio nano cubes. Both versions feature a needle wheel impeller and a clamp that allows for easy installation. Here's a video of it in action. This skimmer is currently available online and it costs about $100 for the desktop version and $130 for the mid-size version. Ecozotic released a new LED fixture that will work great with any type of aquarium called the Panorama Marine LED. Check out their awesome
Now it's finally time for the FTS of the Week. This week's FTS is of IIX's shallow rimless reef. His tank is the Manta Ray 18 manufactured by Pico Aquariums. The Manta Ray series is one of my favorite AIOs due mainly because of its dimensions and simplicity. His tank is lit by a single Kessel A150W Sky Blue, which is the 10K version of the light. He also has a ton of awesome gear crafted by Pico Aquariums. The tank itself is home to a variety of colorful and healthy corals, including Blastos, Recordias, and Acans. This is without a doubt one clean looking shallow reef and definitely worthy of the FTS of the Week title. If you'd like your tank to be featured as the next episode's FTS of the Week, just head over to the Nano News Facebook page and upload your pictures. Whoever gets the most likes on their tank picture will be featured as the next episode's FTS of the Week. If you find yourself in need of more content between videos, I'm working on a website called nanoreefingnews.blogspot.com where I will post things that don't really make it into Nano News and my own personal experiences in the hobby. If you're interested, be sure and check out the website for more information. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're automatically notified every time I make a new video. You should also submit your tank on the Facebook page. Happy reefing!